Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com, and most of you know I'm the Android guy. I use a Nexus One, my wife has a G1, we really love them. And one of the things that we like best about our Androids is being able to pick on iPhone users. No offense to you iPhone users out there, it's just something fun that we do, and, and you do it right back, so it's all okay. Well, recently we've had news that the iPhone 4 has an antenna problem, in air quotes. And I've been right there on that bandwagon making fun of the iPhone 4 for not thoroughly testing the, the antenna. But it turns out that it may not be an iPhone 4 problem. Let me show you what happens when, to use Steve Jobs' words, you hold it wrong with a Nexus One. I think you'll be surprised. Okay, so holding the phone this way with one thumb and one finger, you can see I've got a full five bars. Now, if I squeeze in here and cover it up with a couple more fingers, did you see that? I just dropped down to two bars. Now I'm back up to three because I moved it up towards the camera a little bit. But I dropped basically half my signal strength just by holding it like this. Now, if I let go again and hold it just with the two fingers, there you go. I just recovered that other bar. So, is the iPhone 4 at fault for having those exposed antennas? Possibly, possibly not. Uh, it looks like other phones have the same type of problem, though it took me a long time before I was able to finally reproduce this reliably and show you on camera. And you can see, even here, it took a while for those bars to drop. If I hold it just a little bit differently like this, or if I hold it with my right hand, I don't have the same types of problems as I do if I hold it with that left hand. So it's kind of interesting that it takes so much effort to try and reproduce the same type of problem that the iPhone 4 antenna has on the Nexus One. That kind of speaks either really well to the Nexus One's antenna design or speaks against the iPhone 4 antenna design. And, and I'm really not gonna conjecture on which one of those two it is, but it goes to show that every phone is going to have a, a reaction to blocking the signal. I mean, that goes without saying. If you cover up the antennas and make them go through human flesh and bone, make the signals go through human flesh and bone, you're going to drop your signal strength. So maybe this is an argument for using Bluetooth headphones. Uh, that way you're not even touching the phone with your hand uh, at all during your calls and maybe you're going to get some uh, better signal strength out of it that way. Time will tell. I'm interested to see what kind of phone you have and if you are able to reproduce the grip of death on your phone. Uh, if you are or if you're not, let me know. Post it in the comments down below. Of course, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our video channel, and head on over to PocketNow.com to read the details on this article and other related articles there. For PocketNow, I'm Joe Levi.